Hi, Mama and Mikel. Hi, friends. Okay, I'm putting you on, putting you on, hi, putting you on mute and then recording and then also going to go grab my mic and then we'll do this thing. Thanks for being here. Okay, Mike is going in, friends. As long as this will turn on. Okay, there we go. Can you hear me? Shanks. You guys, think this is gonna stay? Heaven forbid it should fall and startle you. I hope that doesn't happen. Forgive me if it does. <laughs> Yay. All right, my friends. We did it. We faced a different direction today. I know sometimes it's like, what's happening? So good job. And we're all fitting in here. Good job. Um, I just decided that I kind of like this direction better because it like, just seems better. And then the zoomies are in the back of the room rather than like staring at the person right in front of it, I guess. Um, also, I'm going to start, like, putting a thing on the front desk that just says something such as, like, just so you are aware, in this class, I'm filming for Zoom, and I post it on YouTube later. So if that is ever an issue and you don't want to be filmed, then let me know, and, like, I'll find you a spot in class where you're not on the video. Because I do want you to feel comfortable and, like, you are giving consent if you're being videoed. So, um, and I won't be like, oh, okay, we'll find you in a spot. I'll be like, yes, totally. Um, so please feel free to voice that if it ever feels just uncomfortable for you. <laughs> um, but just so you know, at least the live people are usually just my mom and then maybe a couple others. And then, <laughs> um, and then on YouTube, it's mostly like my videos get like 50 views and it's usually just community. So um, I haven't gotten foot fetish people for a really long time. That's so funny. Ah. One of my videos got like 4,000 views or something, but it's because I put XOXOXXXX and that's all. And then it was like <laughs> in the caption because I didn't even think. Okay, anyway, I was like, that's funny. And then I was like, oh. And then I was like, maybe that's the trick of going viral. And then I was like, but those will be the wrong viewers. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, okay, real quick, my announcements, I have this fun thing, fun little mini day retreat coming up, um, so it's not this Saturday coming up, but the following one, I believe, the one at the very end of the month, the 30th, it's me and Andre Ham, you may have seen him around, um, he teaches Wim Hof breathwork, so I'm going to be teaching yoga, He'll be teaching Wim Hof. And then he has a couple of big horse troughs that we're putting outside, putting ice water in them. And we'll take turns getting in, doing our cold plunge, regulating our breath. Um, so it'll just be fun. There will be snacks. There will be laughter. 
I might run away before I do my cold plunge. I might just like escape. I don't know. I'm really scared. Um, so if you'd like to join, there's the flyer out there and it has a little QR code on it. And that will take you to the website where you can sign up and there is a waiver to sign. So um, you either have to sign it there or here at the desk. So it just helps if you do it before. Um, yeah. Uh, if, let me know if you have questions. It's here in this space from 1 to 5 p.m. on the 30th. Um, other than that, let's just do yoga. All right. So I'm going to have us actually start laying down today. So go ahead and just lay down on your back. And as you come to, I'm going to say constructive rest pose, but before you come into constructive rest pose, take a moment to just stretch or move your body a little bit. So maybe you want to take your arms overhead. Maybe you want to hug your knees in. Maybe you want to windshield wiper your knees a little bit. And then eventually constructive rest pose, which is feet on the ground with knees bent. And your feet are wider than your hips. So your feet go out wide and your knees can either fall in and touch each other or they can stay facing up, but you want it to feel like if they were to default one way or the other, they would go in. And then do whatever feels good with your arms. So maybe one hand to heart, one hand to belly, maybe cactus arms against the ground, maybe arms just down to your sides. And eventually close your eyes or if you really like to keep your eyes open prefer to keep your eyes open see if you can let your gaze soften and lower and then let's just take three great big huge breaths together kind of drop in more drop into our body to our breath to this present moment so next time you inhale just fill up as big as you can Really feel that expansion, feel the expansion of your back body against the ground. And then big open mouth sigh whenever you're ready, let it go. Ah. Let's do that two more times. So inhale, imagine you're filling up every tiny little space inside of you when you think you are full. See if there's even a little extra sip you can take. Yeah, and then big sigh, release. Ah. Good, last one. Biggest inhale you've taken all morning. Most of us can breathe bigger than we think we can. So see if there's any extra space you can find and then hold a little longer than you think you can. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Ah. Very nice, my friends. Seal your lips and begin to drop into Ujjayi breath. So Ujjayi breath is vibrant breath. So it's energizing, it's big, it's powerful and spacious, but it's also regulating, it's slow and steady. There's no rush. See if you can feel and hear your breath as it flows through you. So each inhalation, everything expands, inflates, gets bigger. And each exhalation, everything hugs in, contracts, draws back toward midline. If you want to stay here a little longer or a lot longer or... If you want to come back here at any time throughout practice just to rest, everything is welcome. If you're ready to start moving, draw your knees towards your belly gently and just rock it out side to side. Give your low back a nice little massage against the ground. Good. And then reverse tabletop. So knees stack over your hips shins parallel to the earth and if you happen to have a block you're welcome to place it on the skinniest setting in between your inner thighs or inner knees cactus your arms against the ground so like goal posts against the ground inhale here and activate your feet point flex or floint as you exhale slow motion move your knees over to the right but hover them above the ground so don't let them touch Squeeze your legs together or squeeze your prop. Inhale and stay. Hold. Try not to let your left shoulder lift. 
and exhale slowly, smoothly come back to center. So center, inhale, adjust if needed, feel your neutral spine and feel your activated toes. Exhale over to the left, hovering right above the ground. So as far as you can go without touching, without letting your right shoulder lift, stay here as you breathe in. And then exhale, slow and smooth, come back up. Good breathing. Inhale, extend just your left leg straight up. And exhale, legs go right, hovering above the ground. Maybe your left leg is hovering above your neighbor. Stay here, hold, inhale, active feet, squeeze your block or squeeze your legs together, your inner thighs, and exhale, back to center, slow and smooth. Good. Inhale, center, switch your legs, right leg extends, left knee bends, active feet, exhale to the left, slowly. As far as you can go, hover, hold. Don't let your right shoulder lift as you breathe in. And then exhale, back to center. This time, inhale, center. Do whatever you'd like to with your legs. Move into your spinal twist. So this time, as your knees go to the right, let them touch the ground and relax into your twist. Take about three rounds all the way down into low belly, low back, allowing your body to soften here now. So maybe you have both knees bent. Maybe you have your knees crossed. Maybe you have one leg extended. Totally up to you. As you're ready, back through center. See if you can feel your strong core as you bring your legs to center. And then same thing, other side. You need to adjust your hips, scoot your hips around a little bit. Feel free. Breathe all the way down. So even in a twist, make sure your breath moves into your belly, your low back, and your pelvis. Really nice breath, you guys. And I'll leave it up to you when you feel pretty even on both sides. Come back to center and take a happy baby pose. So reach up and grab hold of your feet if you can. If that's too much, you can grab ankles, shins, or even the backs of your thighs. Pull down with your arms as you press up through your heels, flex your toes. So try to neutralize your spine and maybe a little rock back and forth. Nice work. Release, take your legs long and your arms overhead, full body stretch. If you get a little tickle on your toes, Maybe you just laugh about it. <laughs> Take one more big inhale, reach. And then exhale, draw your knees in. So you're back in a little tiny ball. You can find your own way to hands and knees or invitation to rock and roll forward and back now. So make these rocks as smooth as you can. Connect to your core, connect to your center. And eventually rock up, cross your ankles, roll over your feet, coming onto hands and knees. You might crawl back just a bit. From hands and knees, move any way that your body wants to move. Circle your hips, cat cows, child's pose. Anything goes. There's no right or wrong. You could come all the way forward towards a cobra or up dog. You could flip your fingers out to face the sides or back towards your knees and just kind of rock gently. Yeah, you could come up into a kneeling position. Stretch your arms to the sky. So anything goes. Get creative. Stay connected to your breath and see if you can really feel into your body. Feel into your spine, your shoulders, your hips, your hands. And let's say in your next three to five rounds, downward facing dog. So no need to rush. But eventually back to downward facing dog. First one of practice. Good job, friends. As you move back into your dog pose, just feel around. Same thing. Let your body move how it wants to move. So maybe that means you bend your knees a lot. Maybe that means you pedal out your heels. Maybe that means you straighten your legs and really work the length in the backs of your legs. Work that stretch. So downward facing dog. We do this pose all the time. If you practice often, you've probably been here hundreds, thousands of times even. But how does it 
feel in your body, nice Laura, today? What adjustments can you make to be more efficient in your body today? Can you feel your big, spacious breath? Is there anywhere it gets stuck? Is there any way you could adjust to change that? So feeling whatever there is to feel in this pose right now. Take one more inhale. You guys look awesome. As you exhale, gaze to the top of your mat. However you want to get there, forward fold. Good. Once you've arrived, let's go straight into a halfway lift position. Bring your feet hips width distance apart. If they're not there already, make sure all of your toes face forward. Bend your left knee a lot. Left fingertips to the ground or left hand to a block. Right arm reaches up for a twist. So it's like a halfway lift with a twist rather than a forward fold with a twist. Lengthen your spine. Telescope your ribs. Stay rooted through the inner edge of your right foot. Drag your right hip back. Reach the crown of your head forward. Take one more round and see if you can twist a little bit further. Awesome job. End of your exhale, release and switch to the other side. So right knee bends a lot. Right hand on the ground or a block. Left arm up. Pull your left hip back. Root through the inner edge of left foot. Feel all that length in your spine. And as you exhale, twist, twist, twist. Ring it out. Last round on this side. Very nice, friends. Release. Let it all go. Ragdoll it out. Grab opposite elbows. Sway, bounce, bob. So try to keep your weight a little more forward in your feet, a little more in your toes and the balls of your feet, less in your heels. You might have a little or even a big bend in your knees. Focus on lifting your butt, lifting your sit bones as high as you can using your core. Neck is relaxed, head is heavy. Take one more round in your fold. As you breathe in, halfway lift one more time. Just realign. Back of your neck is long, gaze is down rather than forward. Exhale, release, let it go. Let's take it all the way up. Rise, arms to the sky, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Beautiful, let's flow with our breath. High mountain, inhale. Slow dive, hinge at your hips, heart leads all the way down. If you don't have space to reach your arms out, you can reach them forward or prayer hands at third eye. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale. Let it go. Full. Face chain all the way up. Rise. Heart leads. Arms to the sky. Big stretch. Hands to heart. Exhale. Let's take one more like that. Try closing your eyes as you move through it. Inhale. Reach. Use your exhale, the entire length of it, as you dive down, traction out your spine. Beautiful, big, deep breaths. Nice, Eric. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold. All the way to emptiness. Connect to center. Rise from that place. Use that connection. Arms reach. And hands to heart. Exhale. Nice job, friends. Inhale, take your arms up. And this time as you exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Bend your elbows a lot and press your palms together. Roll your shoulders back and down. And for a minute, like you just threw your knuckles in the washing machine, circle around as fast as you can with your hands. So your big fists, circle, 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 circle. Fast as you can, fast as you can. And then reverse the circles other direction, fast as you can. The heat should start to build in your shoulders. Let it build. And then we're going to stretch. So reach your knuckles back. Open up through the front of your shoulders, front of your heart. Take a great big inhale. Maybe pop up your chest and lift your gaze. Keep your clasp as you exhale. Hinge at your hips all the way down. Relax your neck at the bottom. So if you need to, bend your knees more. Relax your neck. Head heavy, lift your sit bones and lift your knuckles towards the sky. Maybe even see if you can reach them forward. Awesome, Chris. Take one more big inhale, friends. Nice job. Exhale, hands to your low back. Release your clasp. Let your arms hang. Give them a little shaky shake. 
Inhale to a halfway lift position. Lots of length. Shoulder blades hug towards your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, plank. Pause for just a moment. Make sure you are spreading your fingers, pushing into your fingertips. As you push into the ground, draw your belly button in and up. Take little baby rocks forward and back. As you rock forward and back, squeeze the front of your thighs. Make your legs even strong. You can come to your knees at any time if you want to modify. Next inhale, little rock forward. So you're on your tippy tippy toes. Keep that as you lower halfway down. So elbows over wrists rather than behind them. Inhale, push back up. High plank. Do that one more time. Halfway down. Chaturanga hold. Strong arms, strong belly. Inhale, push up. Exhale, slow motion all the way to the ground like you're resisting gravity. Inhale, Spider-Man Cobra. So your hands frame your yoga mat there on the hardwood floor. Lift to fingertips. Elbows face the sky. Inhale, lift your heart. Nice, Emma. As you exhale, twist to your right side and let your left shoulder dip down. It's like a micro shoulder pigeon. Inhale, back to center. Lift your heart. Doesn't have to be super high. Exhale, twist. Other side. Beautiful. Inhale through center. Go one more time each way. Or if you'd rather take another variation of a heart opener, feel free. Thanks, James. And then eventually, friends, no rush. Eventually, down dog is where you'll end up. So you can find your own transition back in your own time. And then you've got about five deep breaths in down dog. Nice, Nicole. So once you're in down dog, you're welcome to move and explore. You're welcome to just be still. Quick question from me to you. If you do not want any hands on touch, you do not want any hands on adjustments today, I don't care why and I don't take it personally. You don't have to explain. Just let me know by lifting one leg in the air. So one leg in the air means no hands on. Okay, perfect. Now, if you want to lift one leg in the air just to explore and stretch and feel, go for it. <laughs> okay, awesome. I love it. Last couple breaths. Slow, steady, spacious. So stay connected to Ujjayi. You should be able to hear it. Take one more big inhale and push the ground away. As you exhale, look to the top of your mat, however you wanna get there, forward fold. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Thanks, Mari, and exhale, release, let it go. Root through your feet, let's take it all the way up, big stretch, reach up as you inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, inhale, arms to the sky. Pause right here, grab left wrist with right hand. Your left palm faces the right side of the room. And then like a crescent moon, move your hips left, upper body goes right. Gently pull with your right arm and resist with your left arm. So there's what's called muscle energy happening in your arms. You might reach your right tiptoes out to the right. So more weight in your left foot, and especially press into the inner edge. Keep your left shoulder plugged in so it's back and down. Take one more deep breath. Through center with your inhale, both feet on the ground, switch your grip, grab your right wrist, and then over towards the windows. So start with your hips, hips go right, upper body goes left. If you try to just create it with your upper body, you're so limited in your range of motion. So use your lower body, yeah. Maybe reach your left tiptoes out, breathe into your right side. Keep your right shoulder plugged into the socket. Thanks, Jana. Take one last round, huge deep breath. Awesome, Liz. Back to center as you inhale. And then exhale, chair plane. Bend your knees, swing your arms back behind you. Keep your heart open like you're doing a cobra pose. So, so shoulders roll back and down and shoulder blades hug towards your spine. You can stay right here or feel your connection to center as you sit your butt back. You should feel your strong core and use it to help you balance. Float up to your tiptoes. Stay connected to center. Yeah. Keep your heart lifted. Maybe you can sit a little lower now. Beautiful. Take one more deep breath. As you inhale, arcing Tadasana, heels down. Practice your arms, open your heart, squeeze the bottom tips of shoulder blades. 
As you exhale, we'll take our dive down. I like to bring my hands together at my third eye. Slow dive all the way down to your fold. Nice, Chris. Lift halfway. Inhale. Nice, Erica. Exhale. Plant your hands. Feet back. Move through your vinyasa this time however you want. Just do it with awareness. Strong shoulders, strong core, big, slow breaths. Awesome, Janet. See you back in downward facing dog. Ujjayi. So hear your breath. See if you can inspire your neighbor to breathe bigger and deeper just by making your breath so powerful. Next time you inhale, take your right leg to the sky, three-legged down dog. So if you want to, you can open your hip for a moment, but then eventually find square hips. So your inner thighs will face one another and you probably won't be able to lift your right leg quite as high, that's fine. Good, go for length, strength and power rather than height. Take one more big inhale, press down through your hands, press up through your right foot. Exhale, right knee to your nose. So round and hollow out. Scoop out your belly. Stay here as you breathe in. Lift through your waistline. So you should have a bunch of space in front of you. Step forward. Good. Awesome job. Rise up slowly. Awesome, M. So crescent lunge. If you want to modify, you can absolutely keep your back knee on the ground. If you are on the ball of your back foot and your back toes, See if you can find as much strength and power in your back leg as you feel in your front leg. So really hug in, pull front hip back, back hip forward, and feel a little tone in your belly, navel to spine. That supports your low back. Feel the lift in your heart. Maybe you're gazing up. Slow, steady breath. One more inhale. As you exhale, turbo twist to the right. So left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. Back knee bends to a hover, or again, you can set your back knee down gently. Try to keep your weight centered rather than leaning or reaching forward. Nice and center. Broad through your shoulders. Reach through your fingertips. Get a little bit lower. Twist a little bit further. Last breath. So nice. All right. Listen, my friends. Bring your right forearm across your low back. Reach your left arm up and square your shoulders towards the front wall. Little baby back bend. So you can keep that bend in your back knee. Reach up and back. Puff up your chest. One last inhale. And exhale, left hand comes down. Stay in your twist a little longer. Right arm to the sky. So revolve lunge. Legs are strong, especially your back leg. Good. Very nice. Hug with your inner thighs. Breathe down into your belly. Work your twist as you exhale. Last deep breath. Twist, twist, twist. Bottom of your exhale. Let it go. Walk your hands. We won't do this in our breath to movement flow, but for now, walk your hands over to the left long edge of your mat. Parallel your feet. Straighten out your legs. And just wherever you want to take this for about five breaths or so. So you can explore any way you want. You can hang out and just breathe. So feel whatever there is to feel in your legs. Feel your connection to center. Slow, deep breaths. Nice job. Last couple of rounds. If you're working somewhere, start to wrap it up. Ah. All right. Fingertips to the ground if they're not there already. So bend your knees as much as needed. And then just crawl your hands forward. So coming into a low lunge once again. And then from your low lunge, root into your front foot. Standing splits, left leg to the sky. So just like a one-legged forward fold, hug in with your right inner thigh and use your strong core to take some weight out of your right leg. If you want to play with balance, right arm behind right leg, go for it. If you want to play with handstand hops, go for it. You might give yourself a moment to just explore, play, get curious, or maybe you just hold and breathe. 
Yes. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, set your left foot down next to right, forward fold. You can pedal out your heels, give your legs a little shake out. Bring your big toes together, little gap in between your heels, tuck and curl, so little tiny potato bug ball gets small. You can lift your heels up high on purpose. That'll work the strength in your feet and your ankles and your shins and your calves. Or you can press your heels down on purpose and that'll work ankle flexibility. Option to even wrap your arms around your shins, breathe into your back body and squeeze. Take one more round, get as small and compact as you can. Inhale, halfway lift, heels down, spine long, widen your stance if you want. Exhale, bow and fold. Take it all the way up, rise, arms to the sky, pause here in your high mountain. Root down into your right foot and lift your left knee up, standing staff. So balancing on your right foot. Hug in with your inner thighs and flex your toes. Yes, moving into a standing hip opener. When you are ready, figure four with your legs and you can choose between prayer hands or chair plane arms. Or for this one, since we're holding for a while, you're welcome to move around, kind of explore, maybe a forward fold, maybe an arm balance, maybe a twist, maybe you're just holding, breathing, or maybe you're even falling out, coming back in. So wherever you are, just meet yourself right there. Yes, keep the flexion through your left toes. Keep pressing your heel, or excuse me, your outer ankle onto your thigh. Take a couple more breaths. If you're working somewhere, start to come back to that one-legged chair position. And then back to standing staff. So everybody, eventually, arms to the sky, left knee lifts. And maybe your left leg even extends. Take one more inhale. Like you're moving in slow motion, low lunge. See if you can get your fingers and toes to touch at the exact same time. From your low lunge, inhale, three-legged down dog, right leg to the sky. Open your right hip, so bend your knee. This might feel really nice, and you might just want to stay here. Otherwise, take one more inhale here. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, as close as you can come. Yes, push the ground away. Inhale, back up, scorpion your right leg if you want to. Open your hip. Exhale, right to right. Aim as high as you can on your right arm. Now listen, this time, inhale, three-legged dog, square hips. Exhale, rock forward, playing to chaturanga. So you can take it as three-legged or you're welcome to make it your own. Your knees could even come down. Inhale into a back bend, heart opener of your choice. Maybe an extra couple breaths if it feels nice. And then eventually, downward facing dog. And just reconnect, recalibrate, feel your breath, slow it down, smooth it out. Ah, whatever's flowing through you, just notice it. So not trying to change it or fix it or control it, just being with it, breathing into it, honoring it. Next inhalation, left leg to the sky. And feel free again to open up your hip for a moment, but then eventually square off your hips. Yeah, so inner thighs face each other. Press down through your fingertips and press up through your left foot. One more in breath, strong and powerful. Exhale, knee to your nose. So round your back, hollow out your belly. Stay as you inhale, lift through your waistline. Lift through your waistline. Step through on your exhale. Good job. Nice, Wendy. Take your time to rise. Crescent lunge. Okay, very nice. So feel your strong legs, your foundation. So you're hugging in, front hip is drawing back, back hip is drawing forward energetically. 
And then you're growing into your unique expression, which doesn't mean you need to do anything different physically. Just means you're feeling into it. What are you creating energetically? Are you spreading your fingers wide, powerful? Are you softening today? Take one more big inhale. And then as you exhale, turbo twist towards the window. So right arm forward, left arm back. Back knee bends to a hover or back knee can come down for a little less intensity. If your back knee is hovering, imagine you're trying to pull your back thigh forward and pull your front hip back. Squeeze through your inner thighs, broaden through your shoulders, reach through your fingertips, your great big wings. One last round. Twist, twist, twist. Bring your left forearm behind your back. Square your shoulders forward. Reach your right arm up and slightly back. So create a little back bend and really work the length on your right side. Puff up your chest, lift your heart. One more inhale. Beautiful, exhale, right hand to the ground. Staying in a twist, left arm to the sky, revolve, lunge. So legs are strong, back knee can come down if you'd like. If your back knee is lifted, your back leg is just as powerful as your front leg. Twist from your center, use your breath. Very nice, maybe gaze up at your left hand. And very bottom of your next exhalation, let it all go. Walk your hands to the right long edge of your mat for your wide-legged forward fold. Take it anywhere you want. So you can do the same thing you did before or you can do something totally different. You can just use this as a slightly more restorative pose if you want to. Reconnect into your breath. Love it. Good job, everybody. Wherever you're at, couple more rounds. All right, fingertips to the ground if they are not already there. And just start to crawl your hands to the top of your space. Rotate your toes to face forward. Root into your front foot. And find your standing split. So your back leg lifts up. You can keep your hips square. You can open your hips. Last time I saw a couple people move into half moon. So if you want to go into half moon, go for it. Wherever you're at, your breath is right there with you. Your awareness is right there with you. You can take handstand hops. You can balance with your left arm behind left leg. Try to relax your neck and let your face be soft. Yes, yeah, so good. Take one more big inhale, right leg high. Exhale, set your right foot down to the top of your mat, forward fold. You can give your legs a little shaky shake or pedal out your heels. Bring your big toes together. Little gap in between your heels. Tuck and curl, tiny little potato bug ball. And then just for fun, if you want this time, option to turn it into a toe stand. So hug in with your inner knees, inner, uh, inner thighs, and inner heels, and point your knees straight forward. So you're balancing on your tiptoes, hands to heart center, spine long. So the balance will come by hugging in. Keep your face soft. Sometimes it helps us balance if we press our tongue onto the roof of our mouth. Nice job. One last round. With your next inhale, halfway lift. So heels down, lengthen. Widen your stance if you prefer. Exhale, fold and let it go. Take it all the way up to stand. Arms to the sky, high mountain. Now rooting into left foot. Right knee lift, standing staff. So find your balance. Maybe find something to focus your gaze on, your drishti. Yeah, flex your toes. And then as you're ready, figure four, sit back into your one-legged chair. As we flow, you can choose between chair plane arms or prayer hands. But for now, go wherever you want to go. Keep the flexion through your toes, your ankle strong. It's like you're trying to cement your outer ankle onto the top of your thigh. Yeah, nice, Margo. If you're sitting back, most of your weight is in your left heel. Stay connected to your breath. Couple more. Very nice, friends. 
All right, let's see if we can stay balanced and come back to standing staff. So left foot still roots down, arms reach up, right knee lifts. Maybe you even extend your right leg. Take one more inhale. Slow motion, low lunge, fingertips and toes touch at the exact same time if possible. From low lunge, very nice. Three-legged down dog, left leg back and up. Open your hip, bend your knee. Yeah, and stack your left hip on top of right. This might feel really good, and you might just want to hang out here. Breathe here. Otherwise, one more inhale. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, back up. Option to open your hips. Scorpion tail your leg. And exhale, left to left. So aim for your armpit as high as you can get. Push the ground away. Awesome, John. Inhale, back up. This time, square hits long through left leg. Exhale, rock forward. Your variation, plank to chaturanga. You're welcome to bring both feet or both knees down. Yes, nice. Awesome, Bobby. Back to down dog. Or if you would like, great time to grab a child's pose or grab a drink of water. So we will now move through that entire sequence, that entire flow, breath to movement. And it doesn't mean we just go as fast as we can, try to speed through it and build momentum, get cardio. It means we go slow and steady and move intentionally with our slow, deep breaths. So we're connecting to our center as we transition from pose to pose. We're connecting to our breath in every pose. And if at any time you feel like I'm queuing way too slow, see if you can breathe bigger and move slower, more intentionally. If at any time you just want to do your own thing or take a little break, totally fine with me. So if you would like to join me, find your way. If you're not there already, back to downward facing dog in your next couple breaths. All right, Ujjayi, one more inhale, push the ground away. Exhale, gaze forward, feet to the top of your space, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. All the way up, rise. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. And here we go, let's flow. Inhale, arms to the sky. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Exhale, side body stretch to your right. All the way to empty in your breath. Back through center, switch your grip. And exhale, other side towards the windows. Think up and then over. Inhale, center. And exhale, chair plane or drinking bird. Bend your knees, swing your arms back, possibly lift to tiptoes. Arcing Tadasana, so inhale, heels down. Practice your arms, puff up your chest. Bottom tips of shoulder blades, squeeze. Exhale, dive down, perhaps hands at your third eye as you dive. Nice, Trish, lift halfway, breathe in and lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Keep that exhale going if you can, chaturanga. Inhale, nice, Emma, heart lifts. Beautiful tiff, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, strong and powerful, even through your toes. Exhale, step through as soft as you can. Nice, Eric, inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, twist, left arm forward, right arm back. And inhale, right arm behind your low back, left arm up, slightly back, shoulders are square forward. Exhale, left hand to the ground. Inhale, right arm to the sky, gaze up, work your twist, open. Exhale, unwind, listen, root into your right foot. Left leg floats up, standing splits. 
Exhale, tiny little potato bug ball. So set your left toe down next to right. Curl in all the way to empty. Get small and compact. Inhale, get long. Heels down, spine lengthens. Exhale, fold. All the way up, rise. Arms reach up, left knee lifts up. Flex your toes. Figure four, chair plane arms or prayer hands, sit low, exhale. Inhale, standing staff, reach high, maybe extend left leg. Good. And exhale, low lunge, fingers and toes touch at the same time, maybe. Beautiful. Inhale, three-legged down dog, open your hip. You can stay here, rest and hold, or exhale, right knee, left elbow. Good, inhale back up, open your hip. Right to right, aim for your armpit. Yes, inhale back up, this time square hips. Exhale, straight to down dog or come forward, vinyasa, plank to chaturanga. Heart lifts, breathe in. Beautiful, exhale down dog. Nice Terry, inhale your left leg to the sky. You got this. Use your strong core. Step your left leg forward. Beautiful. Rise up. Crescent lunge. Inhale. Heart lifts. Exhale. Turbo twist. Right arm forward. Left arm back. Back knee bends. And inhale. Forearm across your low back. Square your shoulders forward. Reach up and back. Exhale. Bring your right hand down. Stay in your lunge, add your twist. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Maybe gaze up, nice change. Exhale, let that go. Root into your front foot. Standing splits, right leg high. Active toes. Tiny little potato bug ball. Go straight into it. Curl in, get small. You can modify with a regular forward fold. Totally fine. Inhale, halfway lift position. Lengthen. Exhale, bow, fold in, rise all the way up. Arms reach up, right knee floats up. Figure four with your legs, chair plane arms or prayer hands. Sit back, weight in your left heel. Inhale, reach high, maybe extend right leg forward. And then exhale, low lunge, fingers and toes, same time. Beautiful. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Open your hip. Stay in hold. Or left knee, right elbow. Exhale. Yes. Inhale back up. Left to left. Use your breath. Use your strong core. Inhale back up. This time square hips. Exhale straight to down dog or straight to your chaturanga. Rock it forward, lower down. Good. Heart lifts. Inhale. Exhale. Takes you back. Down dog. Very nice, my friends. Give yourself a moment. Maybe a couple open mouth sighs. Ah, it's one round. We've got one more. I'm going to add in just a few little additions. So just like always, stay present. Listen to my cues. Take what works. Let the rest go. If you're coming with me, big, huge inhale into your down dog. And exhale, gaze forward, feet to the top of your mat. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Nice, Kendall. Take it all the way up. Rise, arms reach up, stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, here we go, friends. Inhale, arms to the sky. And grab left wrist, or if you want, switch it up this time. Side body stretch to your right. Exhale all the way to empty. Through center, breathe in. Other side with your exhalation. So up and over like a crescent moon shape. Inhale, back up. One more time, chair plane or drinking bird. So bend your knees deeply. Maybe lift your heels high. And arcing Tadasana, heels down, cactus your arms, lift your heart, pop up your chest, exhale, slow dive, perhaps hands at your third eye center. So nice, lift halfway, inhale. 
Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Try to keep that exhale going lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, heart open, shoulders back and down. Exhale, lift your hips, down dog. Inhale, your right leg high, stretch it out. Exhale, softly step your right foot through, low lunge. Good, rise up, crescent, arms reach up, gaze up. Exhale, turbo twist, left arm forward, right arm back, back knee bends. Inhale, right forearm across, low back, square your shoulders, reach up and back. Exhale, left hand to the ground. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, release. Standing splits, breathe in, left leg lifts. Listen, exhale, Shiva, squat, left knee tucks into the back of right, both knees bend, get small. Inhale, re-extend, you can take a little hop if you want. Exhale again, Shiva, squat, left knee tucks in the back of right. Inhale, re-extend. This time, exhale, tiny little potato bug ball, curl in. Lift halfway as you breathe in. Realign and lengthen out. Exhale, bow and fold. Let's rise all the way up. Arms reach up, big stretch. Inhale, lift your left knee. Exhale, sit low, figure four. Now listen, inhale, standing staff. You can stay and hold or twist towards the windows. Right hand can grab the outside of left knee. Left arm reaches back. If you want to, grab your left foot and go for revolved hand and big toe pose. Extend only as much as you can without rounding your spine. Hug in with your inner thighs. I know your right leg is feeling it. Breathe into it. Good, nice Jamie, wherever you're at, last breath. See if you can stay balanced, slowly unwind, inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Fingers and toes touch down at the same time. Three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. Open your hip, listen, my friends. Stay here and hold, or you can take those uh, knee to elbows or option to flip your dog this time. The right foot comes down behind. Right arm forward, heart forward, lift your hips. Yes. Beautiful. Wherever you happen to be, let's all meet in regular down dog. So walk it out in your down dog for just a moment. You can keep walking it out in down dog. Or next time you breathe in, rock forward, high plank. Option to hover right leg. Exhale, slowly lower. Chaturanga, strong belly, strong arms. Inhale, heart lifts, shoulders back and down. Exhale, hips lift. Awesome job. You're almost there. Inhale, left leg to the sky. One more side. Exhale, step through softly. Strong legs. Inhale, rise, press it. Exhale, twist, right arm forward, left arm back, bend your back knee, left arm across, low back, inhale, square your shoulders, reach up and back, feel the length in your right side, exhale, right hand to the ground, inhale, left arm to the sky, exhale, let it go, root into left foot, standing splits, right leg high. Exhale, Shiva squat. Right knee tucks into the back of left. Both knees bend. Inhale, re-extend. Handstand hop if you want. Exhale again, Shiva squat. Right heel towards your right glute. Right knee into the back of left. Inhale, re-extend. And this time, tiny little potato bug ball. So both feet on the ground get small and compact all the way to empty. Ha. Inhale, get long. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Nice, Erica. Root through your feet all the way up. Arms reach up. Right knee floats up. Figure four. Hands to heart or chair plane arms. Sit back. Inhale, standing staff. Pause right here. 
Let's twist to the right. Left hand grabs outside of right knee or thigh. Right arm reaches back. Stay here or grab your foot and start to move into your whole revolved hand to big toe pose. Yes. So personal fullest expression. Let go of what others look like. Focus on your body, your breath. Squeeze your inner thighs. Broaden through the front of your shoulders. Last round. So nice. See if you can stay balanced and unwind. Arms to the sky. Reach high. Inhale. Low lunge. Exhale. Land softly and intentionally. Awesome, Eric. Nice, Chris. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Open up your left hip. And again, options are knee to elbows or flip it this time. Find your three-legged back bend. Nice, Mari. So heart wants to look at the front wall. See if you can let it. Lift your hips, breathe down into your belly wherever you are at. Bring it back into down dog, walk it out. Ah, maybe you want to just keep walking it out a little bit longer or inhale, rock forward to high plank. Option to hover left leg. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, peel your heart open. And everyone, either down dog, child's pose, or any other pose that will allow you to just rest and recalibrate, reconnect. So feel whatever there is to feel flowing through your body. Feel your slow, spacious breaths. Maybe you want a couple open mouth sighs. <laughs> And in your next couple rounds, my friends, downward facing dog. All right. From your dog pose, inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot through. We're gonna take a warrior two this time. So pivot your back heel down, cartwheel your arms up. Your hips are now open, your shoulders are now open. So let everything open. Do not try to square your back hip forward, let it open. Yeah, shoulders stack over hips. Breathe slow, steady. Next time you breathe in, reverse your warrior. So front palm rotates up, reach up, reach back. Keep that deep bend in your front knee and track your front knee towards your pinky toe. Don't let it fall in towards your big toe. Good job, you guys. If you would like, option to reach up and grab your right wrist with your left hand. Pop up through your right ribs and see if you can find a little more space in your right side. One more deep breath. Very nice. Come back to a warrior two. Set up for triangle. So straighten your front leg. And I like to shorten my stance by just a tiny bit, like an inch or so. Imagine your back hip is being pulled towards the back wall. And at the same time, try to reach forward as far as you possibly can. When you can't reach anymore, nice, Jane. Your right hand comes towards the ground. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. Heart stays open. Hips stay open. Yeah, nice, Wendy. If you want more, and only if you can keep the integrity of the pose, the structure and the strength of the pose in your legs, option to reach your left arm forward, bicep next to your ear, and maybe even reach your right arm forward as well, like you're holding a block in between your palms. Yes, it's hard. Make sure you can breathe there and you can hold your strong legs. Take one more huge breath. Hmm, so nice. Come back up to warrior two or just rise back up. You don't have to come back to warrior two, your front leg straight. Parallel your feet, take your arms to the sky. So all of your feet face the long edge of your mat. Arms reach up, breathe in. And then as you exhale, hands behind your back. Roll your, interlace your fingers, sorry, and then roll your shoulders back and down. Shoulder blades, squeeze your spine, reach your hands back. Maybe a little tiny lift of your heart. Puff up your chest, gaze up one more in breath. 
Keep your class, hinge at your hips all the way down into your wide-legged fold. So without your hands on the ground here, you have to use your core to work this pose. See if you can feel into your strong core and use it to lift your sit bones up. Engage through the front of your thighs, through your quads. Let your head be heavy, let your neck relax. See if you can lift your knuckles higher and work that stretch in the front of your shoulders. Really nice, Laura. Last couple of breaths. So trust that you can hold yourself here without needing to look forward. Nice work. Bottom of your next exhale, hands to low back. Then release your clasp, fingertips to the ground. Walk your hands to the top of your space. Rotate your toes to face forward. So you're back in low lunge. Listen carefully. From low lunge, bring your back knee down. And then you're going to unthread your right leg. So you'll be in a three-legged tabletop position. Yes, from three-legged tabletop, we're moving into a modified side plank facing towards this right wall. So you can pivot on your left knee and then right arm reaches up, open up, open through the front of your hip. So really squeeze through your outer left glute to press your hips forward. Perhaps reach your right arm towards me, towards the front wall and feel the length of your right side. And final option, only if you want to take it, bend your right knee, reach back, grab hold of your right foot. Once you've got it, kick and pull, gentle leverage. So kick your foot into your hand, try to kick your foot back rather than up and let your heart look up. It's harder, I know. Open through the front of your hips, last big huge breath. And slow release, come to your hands and your knees, tabletop. Option if you have enough space to extend your left leg out to the left with your toes facing forward. So it's called gating your left leg. So all of your foot on the ground, right arm out to the right and then all the way up towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, spread your right arm underneath. So reach through as far as you can and then rest gently on the outside of your shoulder and head. Breathe into your back body. All the way to empty with your exhalation. Good job, friend. If you happen to have your left hand lifted, set it back down. On an inhalation, unthread your right arm and reach it out and up once more. Exhale, right hand down. Now pick up your left foot. So whether or not you have your left leg extended, doesn't matter. Pick up your left foot and take it all the way off the right edge of your mat. And then pull your hips to the left as you gaze back and look at your tiptoes. So try to use your entire left side body, lengthen it out. Look back at your tiptoes. Yeah, you might bend your elbows. You might walk one of your hands or both of your hands forward a little bit. You might round or rock your whole body forward or back a little bit. Last big breath. Very nice. Back to tabletop. Take it back to downward facing dog. John, is it too loud back there? You just jamming? You good? Okay. <laughs> All right. Inhale, left leg to the sky. And step your left foot through softly. Warrior two. Laura, so take your time to rise and settle in. Back foot is parallel to the back edge of your mat. Front heel intersects your back arch. You do not want your front knee coming forward of your ankle. So if that's happening, widen your stance a little bit. Next inhalation, reverse warrior, front palm rotates up, reach up, reach back. So working the length in your left side as you bend deeply into your left knee, nice tiff. So let your front knee track towards your pinky toe, keep wrapping your front butt cheek underneath you. Keep pressing into the outer and inner edge of your back foot. Keep your back leg really strong. Yes, if you want to, you can grab hold of your left wrist. Puff up your left ribs. Take one more big, huge inhalation. Very nice. Exhale back to warrior two. Nice, Terry. And then set up your triangle. So straighten your front leg. 
maybe shorten your stance just the slightest bit. And then don't let your hips move or even kind of pull your hips back as you reach forward. So it's like you're being pulled in these opposite directions. When you can't reach any further, left hand towards the ground, right towards the sky. Good. So you want to feel your nice open heart, nice open hips. And then you can stay where you're at or that option where you reach one or both arms forward, you're welcome to take it. Just make sure you can hold the structure of the pose in your legs, the strength of the pose in your legs and keep your heart open. So there's a lot on your left side abdominals. Very nice. You guys are amazing. Wherever you're at, your own variation, feel everything there is to feel. Take one more huge breath. Uh, from the press of your feet, rise back up. And this time, I'm actually just going to have us take a wide-legged squat. So heels in, toes out, bend your knees, hands to the tops of your thighs. So adjust however you need to so that your ankles are straight down from your knees. And try to press your knees towards the wall behind you rather than letting them collapse forward. On your next inhale, stick your butt out and reach your heart forward. Press your knees open. As you exhale, take a little twist towards the back of the room. Pause and take a full round of breath. Stay low, knees wide, twisting, maybe even gazing over your right shoulder. Inhale back through center and exhale, twist forward. Big deep breath. See if you can open your knees even wider. And we'll speed it up just a little bit. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist to the back. Empty out. Inhale, center. Exhale to the front. This time, inhale, center. Straighten your legs, parallel your feet. Take your arms up. And then all the way down, wide-legged forward, fold. Hang out for about three to five rounds. Any way you want to, anywhere you want to explore. Ah. If you don't already have your hands or fingertips on the ground, bring them to the ground. And then slowly crawl your hands forward, back to a low lunge. From low lunge, Set your back knee down gently and unthread your front leg so you'll be in a three-legged tabletop with your left leg extended back. Yes. And then you'll open into a modified side plank facing towards the windows. So pivot on your right knee. Right foot comes out like a little kickstand. Good. And then left arm to the sky. Instead of sticking your butt out, see if you can squeeze through your right medial glute. It's your outer right glute. And press your hips forward. Maybe bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your foot. Once you've got it, gentle leverage, kick and pull. Try not to kick your foot up. I know it's so much easier, but you want to kick your foot back. Let your heart look up. Squeeze your outer right glute. For some reason, we have the hardest time getting our medial glutes to engage. Take one more deep breath. Nice job. Awesome, Bobby. Slowly release back to tabletop. And from tabletop, if you have space and if you want to, extend your right leg now straight out to the right, toes face directly forward, sole of your foot is on the ground. Left arm out to the left, and then all the way up, inhale. Exhale, thread it through. Ah. Yeah, other left arm. <laughs> and then big, spacious back body breaths. You don't like having your right leg extended, just set it down, no big deal. all right if you do have your right hand lifted set it back down 
on an inhalation, unthread your left arm, reach it out and up one more time. Left hand down. Pick up your right foot or right leg if it's not already extended and swing your right toes off the left edge of your mat. Pull your hips to the right and look back over your left shoulder. So really lengthening through your right side. Feel around. This side might feel really different. Nice, Aria. Breathe into it. Explore. Lean into it. Last big breath. <sighs> back to tabletop. Back to downward facing dog. All right, my friends, right leg to the sky, inhale, and pigeon pose, right shin forward, set your body down gently. If there is any way you would like to take this pose, you're welcome to, of course. So take your time, set yourself up, and then just breath by breath, settle in. Pull your right butt cheek back and up as you take your heart forward and down. So especially if you're somebody who can easily just plop into it and your right butt cheek is on the ground, try not to let that happen. Try to find the stability and structure. You already are flexible enough in your hips, so build stability. Breathe into it. Soften around it. Take about four or five more rounds. All right, my friends, in your next couple breaths, start to find your way back, however you want to get there, to down dog. So maybe you take it back to three-legged dog. Maybe you come into a tabletop. Maybe you move through a vinyasa. And eventually just walk it out. And I love all the different things I'm seeing, so no rush getting there. And whenever you're ready, just in your own time, even in your own way, start your transition to pigeon, bless you, on the left side. Left butt cheek pulls back and up as your heart moves forward and down.
You might notice, does this side feel a little bit different than the other side? If nothing else, can you just keep yourself here rather than wandering off in your mind somewhere else? Can you allow yourself to be with the sensation rather than trying to make it go away? Just to breathe into it, even feel it more and get curious about it. Maybe make little tiny adjustments so that you can breathe more freely or more vibrantly. And I'll just leave it up to you ultimately. So whenever you feel pretty much even on both sides, start to transition back to just one last down dog. And again, you can get there however you want to. So this would also be your time to take one last vinyasa if you want it. I'm just going to say, everybody, no rush, but in your next, like, five to ten breaths, all the way down onto your back eventually. So please take your time. Once you are on your back, friend, so again, no rush, but once you're there, just find a inversion, any inversion you want for about five to 10 breaths. So anything that puts hips and or legs higher than your heart, and it can be something more restorative, something more challenging. If you want to use a wall around you or at the front of the room, you're welcome to. And after five to ten breaths in your inversion, ease your way out and take a spinal twist of your choice, about four or five breaths on each side. And please take your time, but after your twists, happy baby pose or any other finishing poses, finishing movements, last stretches of your choice. So as you take your time to finish off your practice and eventually settle into your final relaxation, it will read to you, and this is a reading by Jeff Foster, my favorite. He says, perhaps our dreams are there to be broken and our plans are there to crumble. 
and our tomorrows are there to dissolve into today's. And perhaps all of this is all a giant invitation to wake up from the dream of separation, to awaken from the mirage of control and embrace wholeheartedly what is present. Perhaps it is all a call to compassion, to a deep embrace of this universe in all its bliss and pain and bittersweet glory. Perhaps we were never really in control of our lives. And perhaps we are constantly invited to remember this since we constantly forget it. Perhaps suffering is not the enemy at all. And at its core, there is a firsthand real time lesson we all must learn if we are to be truly human and truly divine. Perhaps breakdowns always contain breakthroughs. And perhaps suffering is simply a rite of passage, not a test or a punishment, nor a signpost to something in the future or past, but a direct pointer to the mystery of existence itself, here and now. And perhaps life cannot go wrong at all. So my invitation for you, friends, as you rest for these last few moments is to just let your breath now be effortless. Let your muscles relax and soften. And just let your body be a wide open space where the vibrations for the sounds and the frequencies to flow through. Your only job is to simply just be, to notice, to feel, observe. Shavasana.
Take a deep breath in and let it go. Ah. And just start to bring movement gently back into your physical body. And whenever you're ready, just slowly find your way onto either side, fetal position. Really give yourself a moment in your fetal position, this nurturing pose, to just let all of the energy inside of you from your practice, from that sound bath, anything that came through free, let it all just soak in. Visualize it, use your imagination in some way, and just see that happening. I like to imagine little pieces of stardust twinkling around inside of me and just disappearing. And using the strength in your arm, Ease your way up into seated meditation, facing towards the front of our space, towards me. So sit up nice and tall. 
Gather your hands to your heart, either prayer hands or one palm stack on top of the other. Close your eyes or lower your gates. We'll just seal this practice. Close intentionally with a great big collective OM. So OM is known as the vibration of the universe, sound that existed before anything else existed, and the sound that connects us all together underneath it all, all living creatures, all living things. So don't worry so much about how you sound, about how your voice sounds, but focus on how it feels, your own vibration expressing out of your body. So start by exhaling, empty out, clear your throat if you need to. Breathe in your voice. And open your mouth big and wide. Oh. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for letting me guide you. Namaste. Mm -hmm. All right, friends, thank you so much. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, and also, I just wanted to say, I did put a new schedule, a new class on the schedule this month, which is Thursdays at 11 to 11.45. So just a quickie, 45 minutes, and it's just sound. So all you do is come lay and get sound bathed. So if ever in the middle of the day, you have 45 minutes, you wanna get a little energetic cleansing, Come on in or send anyone you know who might enjoy that my way. Thursday is 11 a.m. Good job. All right, my angel girl. Okay, and I'll say this too. <laughs> I'll just keep going. Um, I did just put a new retreat up on my website which is in November and it's just a Thursday to a Sunday in Mesa Arizona so I just wanted to go somewhere easy that's warm and sunshiny and it's just this cool Airbnb place really big um there's some bunk bedrooms so yeah if you're interested it's on my website or you can ask me any questions always okay <laughs> you're welcome what is going on with this freaking thing? Oh, there we go. That's weird. Ronnie, how was it back there? Were you jamming hard? Was it too loud? Did you even hear me say that to you? Say, John, is it too loud back there? Are you just jamming? <laughs> no, because you didn't even respond. I'm like, he's jamming. Bye, Mikhail. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye. Yay. Love you guys. Have a wonderful Sunday.